The September 13th episode of WWE SmackDown, live from Seattle, Washington, marked the Blue Brand's return to the USA Network after five years on Fox. The show debuted a fresh new logo and theme song, courtesy of Megan Thee Stallion. It kicked off with a brief promo from Triple H, setting the stage for the opening bout, Cody Rhodes defending his undisputed WWE Championship in a steel cage match against Solo Sokoa, the Bloodline's new tribal chief. As Cody battled interference from the faction, the unexpected happened, Roman Reigns made his dramatic return to come to Cody's aid. The first half hour of SmackDown aired commercial free, with the sold out crowd in Seattle erupting as WWE's top star, Cody Rhodes, faced off against Solo Sokoa in a steel cage match. After several close calls and a high flying leap from the top of the cage by Rhodes, the American Nightmare secured the victory. But the celebration was short lived, as the bloodline stormed the ring and ambushed Rhodes. Just as Jacob Fatu climbed to the top of the cage, Poised to deliver a crushing blow, Roman Reigns' music hit, and the original Tribal Chief made his triumphant return to save the day. After dismantling half of the bloodline, the same faction that had sidelined him weeks earlier after his return at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns found himself face to face with Jacob Fatu. WWE has masterfully kept these two powerhouses apart, and tonight was no different, as Solo Sokoa intervened, pulling Fatu out of the ring before a potential clash with Reigns could erupt. With Fatu and Sokoa retreating, Reigns shifted his focus to Cody Rhodes, who had stood by his side in fending off the bloodline. A nod of respect passed between the two before Reigns turned his attention back to Sokoa, who was watching from the aisle way. Later in the night, SmackDown GM Nick Aldis had a contract ready for Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes to team up against the bloodline. However, Cody declared he was done with that chapter and ready to move on. To close the show, Reigns stood in the ring with Aldis and broke his silence for the first time since his return. He told the crowd that he didn't need Aldis, a contract, and especially not Cody Rhodes to take on the bloodline. Reigns declared himself not just the original tribal chief, but the only tribal chief. This prompted Cody Rhodes to come down to the ring, reminding Reigns that WWE was his domain now, not Roman's. Just as tensions between the two seemed ready to explode, they were ambushed by Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa. After easily dispatching the attackers, Reigns signed the contract while locking eyes with Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu, who watched from outside the ring. Cody followed suit, making it official, Rhodes and Reigns would team up against Sokoa and Fatu at Bad Blood in Atlanta. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then see you all in the next one. Thanks!